Hey everyone and welcome back to RPS at PAX and today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm sort of interviewing Rachel, <laughs> which is a bit different. So we discovered yesterday that Lies of P, the upcoming Pinocchio Bloodborne game, it's mm. basically a Souls game where you play as Pinocchio, has a playable demo here. So Rachel played it for about 25, 30 yeah, minutes. like half an hour, yeah. yeah. Got a good, good chunk in. So we thought that we'd have a chat about it and Rachel's going to tell us about you know, her impressions about the game and we'll go from there. So yeah, Rachel, what did you think of Lies of P? So yeah, like if anyone who's like not familiar with Lies of P, as Liam said, it's like this Pinocchio-esque, Bloodborne kind of game where you basically play as like a mechanical boy mm -hmm. who's like on a quest to try and, you know, become human. And so part of that is like finding Geppetto through like this kind of neo-Victorian era um, city where you fight robots, there's a crafting element. And um, yeah, there's also like this element that wasn't in the demo where um, you can decide to lie or tell the truth in certain situations. If you lie, you become more human, but that's like a debuff to certain aspects of your personality. Oh. But if you tell the truth, like you don't get those debuffs, but you remain like this like robot. So unfortunately we didn't get to see that aspect of the game, but we did like see the combat. There was the enemy type. So yeah, I'll just kind of jump into it. So there was two levels. One of them was kind of like in a like cobbled city. It is, it is. I just want to say it's very Bloodborne, which I don't think is necessarily like a bad thing. Like it's just such a good vibe that I was just running around. Like there's different weapons. So my personal favorite was this like agility build where um, it was like a very quick kind of like, uh, what are they called? Like those fencing swords? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I would like kind of jump into an enemy, pull them with like a grappling hook with your mechanical arm and kind of like slice and dice them like super quick. But there's also certain builds where they're much slower and more powerful. So like one of them is like you have a lead piping with a huge spiky clockwork <laughs> uh, spinning wheel of death on the end. And so that's got a much slower wind up. But of course, like enemies are obliterated when you land that very well timed hit. Um, so yeah, just kind of running around. There's lots of different types of enemies, but in the demo, there was maybe like a few. They're kind of creepy, which I was expecting they'd be a bit more like okay, there's like a robot, but some of them have masks, which is kind of like unnerving, top hats. They're all quite dapper, but the idea is that um, your creator, Geppetto, like he's the original creator of all of all the robots and automatons in the city. And they've kind of, something's happened. They've, they've gone a bit wild. And so a lot, there's like streets are lined with like, like broken down carriages and bodies and dead horses. Like it's very kind of grim. Um, that's kind of the overall vibe, yeah, very grim. And but these automatons have like turned against their like masters, so to speak. And so yeah, you're kind of like running through fighting what essentially is your father's own creations. So that's kind of an interesting thing that I hope they really kind of explore. Um, I love the thought that uh, Japan was really hot as well. Oh, I really wow. want to say this. He's a <laughs> he's a silver fox. I like the thought that all his creations go wild and he just says to himself, I must build a boy. Because <laughs> I assume he's built Pinocchio to defeat the robots, to defend the city. Or did you not see this in the demo? So it's like not clear, like the okay. timeline wise. I think everything's a bit muddled. The demo literally just like kind of plonks you yeah. in the street and you just kind of like have to um, fight your way through like very short levels. Yes, the second. So yeah, the second level is kind of um, so there's like a factory in the distance, and it, it's more like a residential area. But yeah, in that area, there's like a big lad. There was like a big robot lad with like <laughs> he was like twice the size of you. And so yeah, the combat is very again very bloodborne. -y. You got to kind of like time your attacks right. Lots of dodges, lots of parries, lots of um, blocking. And uh, yeah, I got absolutely bludgeoned to death by this guy on more than one occasion um there's you know you can get into a situation where like lots of enemies are kind of like rushing at you and there's a guy on the roof throwing like fire bombs at you and i'm just like oh it's too much um but overall i had a really great really good time like i i personally like the hack and slashy aspect so i, I think i'll probably build make a build around that just because, you know, slow timing is like, I want to get in there and like, you know, crack some skulls. I don't want to be having to like kind of concentrate on my timing and stuff. But it, yeah, I was quite surprised. It looks pretty cool. Like I'm excited mm -hmm. to see uh, where they take it. I want more story for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, Geppetto is hot. I don't know why. I don't know why they made it. Why? They were just like. Why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hell yeah, why not? 
Um, so yeah, like those kind of story um, elements, details, like we're not quite sure how they're going to fit in overall. But yeah, like I say, it, it felt great to play. It looked great, like yeah, uh, very, very detailed environments. Uh, there's a bit at the beginning where before you even like meet any like enemies, you run into a street and there's like a cable car that's like uh, broken off its hinges and it's like crashing towards you and kind of just stops and there's like a spotlight on you. It's like, there's a lot of like moments like that. I hope there is anyway. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of hyped. Yeah, I, I mean, I just watched over your shoulder for maybe 10 minutes mm. towards the end of your demo and I was surprised. It looks gorgeous, like you say. Yeah. Structurally and just in the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, it is purely a Souls game. Like, just even, there was, like, enemies that were jumping out to get you when you went down ladders. Yeah. Uh, the way that when you die, it says you have perished or something. Yeah. But it's just, it, it feels, it's so similar mm. that you might find, if you are a Souls fan, I think you're going to get a lot out of this. Mm. Uh, but I, I do wonder if it lacks maybe a little bit of its own personality, which I guess is where the Pinocchio theming comes in. Mm. Because it has this kind of out-there theme. I do wonder if that's where it's going to really stand apart from its soul's uh, influences. But it's coming to Game Pass. We mm. found out at Gamescom. It yeah. feels like the perfect Game Pass game. Part of me wonders, we were chatting about this earlier, and I thought to myself, I wonder if Microsoft were quite keen to get this so they have a Bloodborne-like on their console that people can just get. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was run on a PC. It looked smooth as hell. Yeah. It looked solid. It was beautiful. Playing that on 4K... It's going to be very tasty. Mm -hmm. I'm just very, very curious to to learn more about that Pinocchio theming. But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It yes. seems like you had a good time. Yeah. Bottom line, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm excited for it. Uh, I didn't know what to expect going in. Obviously, there's lots of talk about that it's a Bloodborne-like. It, it very much is a Bloodborne-like. Uh, I think everyone kind of like knew that already. But like you said, I think the world building is like really interesting and definitely that narrative element of like telling the lies and the truth. Maybe it's a bit too on the nose for Pinocchio, but like at this point, like, I don't know, I, yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah. I like it. I like how it has mechanical ramifications yes. for making decisions, for lying. I like it when it loads as well. It says now lying instead of now yes. loading. It's cheeky. I like that. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. We will be back very soon with more content from PAX West. And thank you for being an RPS supporter. Your support means the world to us. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.